Welcome to Graphitorials. In today's video, you will learn how to create amazing graphic design using Photoshop. So this is uh, the simple um, and nice um, graphics we are going to work on today. So without wasting much of time, let's dive in. And now, before we forget, I will embed links. I will embed link in the description to download every all the resources I use for this project. You can go now and download it um, and use it for your own lesson okay so let's jump into this tutorial so to 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 start we need to create a new workspace so to create a new workspace we'll start with this create new We're using by 10 by 10 inches let's name this um, amazing graphics so I'm using Photoshop CC 2019. Okay, you can use any version of Photoshop you like, uh, which will serve, which will serve you well. Okay. So let's continue. So the next thing we'll do is we'll bring in a background. So I have the only the background. So as the background is is now you need to expand this so to do so hold shift hold shift to fit it to this uh, workspace okay so let's start bringing in other stuff okay go to file place embedded so let's let me bring in let's bring in the picture we have a picture we have already removed the background of the picture so, this is the picture so the link to download this um, feature will be in the description. If you download it, you extract it from the zip. You see um, the one with that background, okay? So that's it. Ctrl T to transform. Increase this. So guys, if today is your first time coming to my channel, kindly go to my channel and subscribe. Then turn on the notification bell so you get notified anytime I drop new videos. Okay, if you're already on the channel, like comment and share this video okay i hope you have done that let's continue so let's um, type in our tests so let's type in our test fill ctrl t to transform it increase the size hit enter so keep it somewhere here increase it a little bit hit enter Okay, so go to file, place embedded. So let's bring in this code background. Increase the size. Keep it over here. Go shift on your keyboard. Drag this area. Hit enter. Make sure the background is on top of this field test. Okay. Then right click on it. Create a clipping mask. So the the background has a um, big power clips inside this test okay so go to file blur motion blur so the strength of the blur is 187 the distance okay it's okay so hold hold control your keyboard select the two layer press ctrl g to group it double click on the layer drop shadow okay so my own is in normal Distance is 36. Okay. Then angle is 122. Okay, so leave every other thing to default. Opacity is 26. Okay. The color is black. Your black. It's okay. Press Ctrl S to save. So always save your work so that you won't lose your work if you're interrupted by your lights or anything at all. Okay. So next thing we'll do is let, let's um, add a little light on this face okay grab this um, pass tool okay draw it on this area circle this area i click on it feather to leave the feather to 10 then select the picture press ctrl m ctrl m to bring up this curve adjustments or you can actually go to this uh, adjustment layer then select curve okay 
all will serve you better. Okay? So, take this back. Control S to save. So, let's enhance this picture. Go to, so let's make sure the picture is selected. Go to File, Camera Raw. Okay? So, increase the clarity a little. Like this. Go to HSL Adjustments. Increase this. Increase this. Blue. Okay, so this I think this is okay like for now. So control S to save. So go to this um, let's type um, other tests, the same few. Few. So the name of the font I'm using is Pogo. Okay. Few. Pogo. I will embed link to download it in the description. Okay. Control T. To transform it increase the size press enter drag it down okay at the back of this picture keep it somewhere here okay and double click on the layer add a um, stroke to it okay make sure your stroke is outside size is 10 leave your that into default capacity 100 color black okay right click on this stroke Creates um, layer, okay. Then hold control or keyboard, click on this to make a selection on the test, okay. Then select this uh, second outer stroke and hit the leads, okay. Then press control D to deselect it. Then go to this, select this layer and delete it. You see what we have just achieved now, okay. So this is it. Control S to save. So let's um, type the artist name. So let's say, um, um, let's pick a name. Pastel. Just using a any name. You're just using any name, okay? Control T to transform it. Reduce the size, keep it somewhere here. Keep it somewhere here. This place is okay, keep it somewhere here. Okay. Control S to save. Let's take it up here. Let's keep it here. So it's somewhere here. Control T to perform it. Then reduce the size. Okay. Yeah, press Control S to save. Let's add a little lighting, lighting on this feature, okay, to, to this design, create a new empty layer, grab your brush tool, open this for background color, pick color from here, okay, sorry, make sure your brush, is, brush size is 1008, so see my brush settings, size 1008, hardness 0, okay, then click something like this, change the blending mode to screen, okay, so shift it somewhere here, create a new empty layer again, grab your brush tool, then click, change this to lightening, okay. so keep it somewhere here, somewhere here, it's okay, so let's check if there's other settings. Let's use this uh, lightning, okay? So, Control S to save. Now let's summarize the design. Hold Control on your keyboard, hold Shift, hold Alt, then press E. As you're holding down the three keys, okay? Go to File, Camera Raw. So, let's enhance this design, increase the clarity. Go to HSL adjustment, increase the yellow. Okay, let's touch this color a little bit. Okay, so let's um, add some texture. Let's add some texture. Small, take this much. Or let's keep it zero. So, hit okay. Control S to save. 
So let's bring in a social media icon. So let's use this. Press come enter. So keep it somewhere here. Okay. Control S to save. So let's save this as JPEG. Go to file. Save as. Change it to JPEG. So that you see the final results of this graphics. Okay. So, so this is it. So this is the final result of this uh, simple and amazing graphics. Okay. So guys, this will be the end of today's tutorial. If you enjoy this tutorial and you, I know you have um, and you know you learned something new today, kindly subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell. Okay. See you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.